Hey, welcome back to UFOs Above Us. All right, today we're going to look at two pictures. This is the original image that I captured, 4K resolution. And then I have an enhanced version of this where I've uh, sharpened it and added contrast. So there's four areas we're going to concentrate on, and then we'll move to the enhanced image. The first area, and this is the first thing that caught my attention about this uh, particular image, is that straight black line right there. That seemed odd to me. And in studying a lot of these photographs of the moon, you expect to see rounded shaded areas like in a crater or where there's a, a cliff and you have some shadow cast. But to see a long straight black line like that is odd. So that caught my attention. So we'll look at that and some of these structures around it. Um, in particular, this one right here, which is the second area we're going to look at. The third area we're going to look at is right in here. And then the fourth area that we're going to look at is one of these buildings. And I have to look for it myself. It's hard to spot in this original image. Um, I believe it's this one. But we'll blow it up and you can see it a little better. So I'm going to go ahead and go to that enhanced image. Again, this is the original. This is the enhanced version. If you look at the difference, it's brighter. It's sharper. I've added a lot of the sharpness to it. So now that we got this image, we'll look at this black line and ask ourselves, what causes that? Why is there that sharp black line there? And to see it a little better, I'm going to go ahead and blow it up even more. Now, this is obviously a huge blow up to see this small area of the moon. And you do get some pixelating, but it still will serve the purpose of letting us look at what's around this unusual characteristic here. And a couple of the unusual things that I think about is just why do we have all this dark area here? And I'll just tell you what it reminds me of when I see that. I've seen a lot of features in lakes that look this way, where you see um, contrast like that. If you have elevated portions and then sunk down portions and they're filled with water, uh, you can get such a dramatic contrast at certain times of the day. Um, so I'm not saying there's a lake on the moon, but I'm just saying that's what it reminded me of. But the areas I want to look at here is you've got some odd structures on this uh, this area here that don't look man uh, don't look naturally occurring to me. You know, if I didn't know any better. I would almost say some of those are windows. When you've got these, these structures here, and then you've got these nice rectangular, looks like this one even wraps around the edge here. And you've got these rectangular cutouts here. Boy, that reminds me a lot of windows. So it just, it makes me say, hmm, when I look at that. you got the same thing going on here. So... Could these be totally naturally occurring? Of course they could. Absolutely. But it just looks odd to me. It looks kind of out of place. And then you have what almost looks like pipes jetting out of this, angling to the ground right here. And another one right here. And you've got this darkened area right in here. Just looked odd to me. So that's one of the things I just wanted to look at. We'll look at the second one because it's right over here, fairly close. In this next little area here, You've got, first off, you've got this certainly odd elevated portion here. I don't see anything that jumps out at me as man-made versus naturally occurring there. It kind of follows what could be naturally occurring. But this, on the other hand, does not in any way look naturally occurring to me. What shape does that look like to you all? It looks like a perfect circle to me. And if, if I were even trying to say, it looks like it has these columns almost like legs coming off of it here and you can't see if there's a fourth one but if it if you were just wondering i wonder if these are legs supporting this circular dare i say it saucer shaped item right here so and then this area above it i don't know what that is but certainly looks unusual to me certainly looks saucer shaped as opposed to naturally occurring it certainly looks like it has legs supporting it there. So just another object that I thought was interesting. For the next one, we're going to go down here. And in this area, we'll just point out this X. And it caught my attention right away. You know, the previous video I did talked about what could be lettering on the moon. Now, we don't know that it is. And I certainly uh, 
am not going to try to say it is definitively, but if you look at them, they look like letters. But things that stand out that don't look naturally occurring, this X does not look naturally occurring. I mean, it just, it doesn't. So when you look at that, and then you start looking at the areas around it, and you see what looks like a right angle pipe right here. That looks odd, doesn't look naturally occurring. See another right angle right here. You see another X right here. You see a right angle with this X right here. So we've got another one right here. And this one, you can even see that there's one underneath and then there's one over it on top of it right there. We've got this other kind of pipe going across there. So, <clears throat> excuse me, voice is a little rough today. I had to do a lecture and my voice is kind of tired from it. But just very odd. And this is another structure in the area, general area that looks odd to me with that black line running across that shadow there. So, I don't, again, I don't know what any of these are, but I'm just pointing out things in these pictures. And I've got over a hundred uh, of these objects that we're going to, pictures that we're going to look at over time. But things that make me kind of question, what is it? And so I'm just sharing them with everybody else. The final thing that I want to talk about here is a, another odd-looking structure. I've got to shrink it down to find it. Pardon me. This is the one I always have trouble spotting. And uh, it's right here. So let's blow this up. There's a lot of these oval structures with a little darkened area. You'll see these all over this picture. Right there's one. Right there's one. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. But this one in particular is larger than the others. And it has a couple of unusual things. If you look at the oval structure, this white structure right here, with these darkened areas underneath, this darkened area doesn't look oval or round. It looks rectangular. And it has what looks like some kind of a flap coming off right there. So what is that? And as I saw that, I thought that looks unusual. So I blew it up and I studied a little closer. If you look underneath it, it looks like we have those same columns underneath this as well. There's a big one right there. Smaller one here. Pretty, really small one there. Probably another one there. Another big one right here. And a big one right here. So, also look, if you look underneath this structure, the question would be, well, could that be an elevated structure and this is the surface of the moon? Well, one support for that argument would be the shadows down here. And not just this real dark area right there, but what about this whole darker gray area underneath it? Could that be this structure casting a shadow down below it? Um, I don't have answers to any of these questions, but I think they're questions worth asking. So that's just a few of the things on this picture. If we were going to spend the time, um, we could address a lot of things about this picture that I wonder um, but those are a few of them we're going to start off with. Again, so that was the enhanced image. And then if you look at this one, here is the original. And even in the original, you still see the structures. It's just the enhanced one brings out a little of the detail. But like the X pattern down here, you can still see that. So I hope this uh, encourages people to get curious and start watching for yourself. I'd love to see more people get telescopes. Uh, taking pictures, shooting videos of the moon. You know, if we want to know the answers, the best way to get them is to find out ourselves. And as a team, the more eyes we have up there looking, the more we're going to learn. So um, for UFOs above us, I just want to encourage everybody, as I always say, keep watching the skies.